so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of super satisfying animation in the blender with the help of the cloth simulation so without any further delay now let's get started the tutorial and in this video we'll also talk about how you can create that kind of camera movement as well so make sure you watch this tutorial till end so now let's start the tutorial so here you can see guys here we have our basic scene setup okay and i have also link our camera with our this spare basically and when that spare going to falling down so that camera also going to follow and whatever moment is going to do that spare it's also going to follow the same moment so how we can create this effect we'll also talk about okay so first of all i just want to delete our this spare basically okay and i will just add one cube into our scene and i'm just going to subdivide this cube at least uh, four times something like that and then i just want to go to my modify settings and here i just want to apply this something like that so now we have our physical mesh so first of all i just want to do shade smooth so, so we can see a more smoothness in our sphere okay and then i will just create a material basically so for that i'm just going to create a new material and i will just uh, add one color into our sphere something like that here you can see okay and then i'm just going to increase our transmission value to one something like that and then i'm just going to decrease the roughness value something like that so here you can see we have a that kind of material effect basically okay and i'm not going to model these things because they, these are basic model basically here you can see this is a basic cube okay and i have already add the a collusion into our these object basically okay so our object have a collision settings and apart from that you don't need to add anything in these object okay we have to work only these this object basically so for that what we have to do we have to just uh, add the cloth simulation into our this spare basically okay and uh, first of all you have to just increase these quality step from here so i will just increase one quality step from here then i'm just going to scroll it down and here i'm just going to uh, play with some stiffness settings so i will just do a uh, tension value 1.2 and i will just add the compression value to 1 okay and apart from that you don't need to change anything from this dampening settings and also from this internal spring and you have to just enable this pressure option which is give you a bouncy effect on this uh, spare basically so you have to just add some uh, pressure value here so i will just add a 5 okay and i will also add a pressure scale as well which is uh, define how much it will bounce basically so i'm just going to add five as well here okay and then i'm just going to give a little fluid density so i'm just going to 0 0.03 okay and uh, apart from that you don't need to change anything okay and one more thing you have to do it you have to just go to scroll it down and here you have to just enable this object collusion basically okay sorry object collusion and from here you have to just change this distance to 15 mm to 10 mm okay and uh, yeah that's look fine and make sure you increase this collision quality effect at least uh, seven times okay and uh, make sure you just uh, define your uh, end frame at least 500 because we have a uh, lots of object into our scene so it will took 500 frame to complete this animation so apart from that you don't need to change anything and i have already add the collision into this object and you don't need to change any collision setting from here okay so now uh, what i will do i'm just going to play the animation and let's see how it look like basically so i'm just going to hit the space bar and let's see how it's work so here you can see right now our spare going to stuck so first of all we have to just uh, decrease the our spare size a little bit something like that and after scaling make sure you apply the scale press in the control a and now we have to just play the animation again yeah so now let's walk fine and here you can see that's doing nice but i think we have to just decrease the our uh, pressure value from here basically to two something like that now let's see what happened yeah now it's look fine here you can see now it's work fine yeah here you can see now it's going to work very nicely okay so we can just play the animation once more and let's see how it's look like so here you can see now we have a good stiffness and we have good pressure as well and it's going to perfectly animate 
and it's also going to interact with these object perfectly yeah something like that here you can see that's look fine okay so here you can see our basic animation is done okay you can create any kind of object basically obstacle object whatever you want right now i just create a basic scene basically you can uh, create any kind of object whatever you like basically okay and uh, make sure you have to just add these settings which is i have added into this sphere okay and you can change the pressure value according to your object uh, movement basically and object shape it can be spare it can be cube it can be anything basically so right now i took the this spare basically you can take any kind of object whatever you like to bounce basically okay so here you can see our basic animation is done and now uh, we have to just link our camera with our this uh, object moment so how we can do this so first of all we'll just uh, see a basic uh, linking method so if i'm just going to link this camera with this uh, spare so here you can see it's not going to follow along this spear basically here you can see okay so how we can do this so for that we have to just uh, do control z first of all then we have to just select the both object then we have to just go to edit mode of this spear and then we have to just select only one op one vertices into this spear and then we have to just press the control p and okay and here you will see a one direct box it basically called make vertex parent so when you click on it so now if i'm just going to play the animation so that camera going to follow this spare something like that here you can see so now if i'm just going to my camera view here you can see this is my camera view and if i'm just going to play the animation so here you can see now it's going to follow that spare moment basically when it's going to jump it when it's going to fall down here you can see so that's how you can uh, create that kind of camera moment as well that is very super easy trick which is i thought i should share with you and i hope you enjoy this trick as well okay so that's how you can create that kind of super satisfying animation in the blender with the help of the cloud simulation which is super easy okay you have to just play some settings which is i have already told you okay and you have to also play with the pressure whenever you change the pressure value you will get a different animation flow okay so make sure you play with this pressure value as well but uh, if you want to create a same animation you can use these uh, same settings you will get exactly uh, that kind of animation okay so now let's see once again this animation so here you can see yeah so that look fine so i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys